helicopters. I took pictures. Terry of Parker has lived in his home in Bonnie Lake for 11 years and in 2020 was one of hundreds who had to evacuate during the Sumner Grade Fire. Got kind of scared because we're hoping it didn't jump the road, you know, because it could have came here and wiped out our neighborhood because it was only half a block away. The fire burned 800 acres and destroyed four homes. Parker says wildfires aren't typical in that area. I've been coming out here since 1964 and never been a fire like that around in this area or that close. Now, the Western Fire Chiefs Association developed a first of its kind fire map that shows up to date information on wildfires happening so people like Parker can quickly take action. It can make a big difference for people that are in rural areas where they may not have really good um, exit areas. The Western Fire Chiefs Association pulls data from 911 dispatch and the U.S. Forest Service to track wildfires burning in real time. On the map, it populates current fire information that is occurring today, has uh, updated information from fires that occurred yesterday, and then it has uh, another layer in there that provides fire information for ongoing fires. It gives the public up to date information on how big a fire is and how much it's contained. Something Parker thinks could have made a huge difference two years ago. You could get information quicker, I think, you know, instead of trying to wait for it to see it on the news. You know, you could go on your phone and, and, and look at the map and, and tell where exactly it's at. By next year, fire chiefs hope the map moves into phase two, which will include location based notifications. People can go to the map and say, hey, this is where I'm at. The new tool coming at the right time, as Chief Johnson says, wildfire season is expected to pick up. The Stammen fire was an early indicator of the, you know, things are getting ready to burn. Just because it rained a lot this spring doesn't mean that uh, we're still not going to have a, a pretty active fire season coming into the fall. Here. In Bonnie Lake, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.